Muscles. Did you know everything from our heartbeat to physical movement involves muscle contraction? Thanks to a physiological concept called the sliding filament theory, these movements occur seamlessly. This theory contributes to our understanding of medical illnesses and even helps in the field of forensic science. Let's take a look at the sliding filament theory in action. I like to think of a muscle like a telescope. A telescope has smaller and smaller cascading tubes. In the same way, a muscle contains smaller tubes called muscle fibers, and every muscle fiber is made up of even smaller tubes called myofibrils. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a myofibril. Every myofibril contains a sarcomere, which is the contracting unit. The sarcomere contains smaller filaments. The thicker one is called myosin, and the thinner one is called actin. Troponin is a tricky protein that prevents actin and myosin from binding. ATP is the energy we will be using for this muscle contraction. The first stage of muscle contraction is triggered by a nerve impulse sent from the brain to the skeletal muscle tissue. This impulse causes a release of calcium into the sarcomere. When calcium binds to troponin, it changes its shape. Now, actin and myosin are able to connect. Myosin uses all of the energy it can from ATP to slide actin over it. This is known as the power stroke and what we experience as muscle contraction. Once all energy is exhausted, a new ATP molecule arrives. This provides more energy for actin and myosin to slide past each other even further. The sliding filament theory is named for this repeated sliding action. Muscle contraction continues until the nerve impulse stops and actin and myosin return to their relaxed state. Osteoporosis is a condition in where the body releases calcium uncontrollably, causing bones to become brittle and weak. This calcium relates to the sliding filament theory in that it binds to troponin and causes uncontrollable muscle contraction. Oftentimes, when people are diagnosed with osteoporosis, muscle spasms are a primary symptom. When we think of forensics, we often think of DNA in fingerprinting. But did you know that detectives use the sliding filament theory to predict a victim's time of death? For a few hours after death, the corpse will experience a condition called rigor mortis, which is where all body muscles are contracted because there is no more ATP to relax them. Now that you know all about the sliding filament theory, join me, Purvi, in getting jacked. Thank you for watching.